everypony, I'm Jaffa Archfiend and these are my thoughts on Pinky Apple Pie. This episode was definitely a barrel of fun. It didn't continue the plot or theme of season 4, but heck, this is an episode you can just watch and enjoy. And strictly speaking, that's kind of what draws people into a series like this to begin with in my opinion. Basically, this episode was a miniature road trip episode and thank the gods that DHX didn't try to drag the rest of the main six into this endeavor as well. Felt it would have detracted from the whole Apple Family Pinkie Pie dynamic. It's nice to actually get to see how the Apple Family works and that even they have their bickering moments and want to throttle each other now and then. Which is pretty much how families work anyways. They seemed a little too perfect sometimes. Aside from more building up on Big Mac as being this deep philosophical pony, way to go for the fandom, Granny Smith as a stubborn repository of weird facts, who I would love to see engage in a debate with Twilight on over who knows the most, just for the giggles, as they try to outknow each other. And Apple Bloom being the bundle of energy, we could kinda guess she was already. This episode has opened up some interesting possibilities for future episodes. In particular, it's made an open door to reintroduce Pinky's actual family with her sister's mum and dad. If they don't turn up in the next family reunion episode or get some kind of episode later on in series 4 or 5, I think we can agree we'll all be disappointed. The song here was just as awesome as it was when they showed it as an animatic, with Banjo strumming AJ being very cute. Although, I'll admit, it did sound a little weird without the clapping in the background from the audience. Oh well, I'm sure we'll be hearing that in the inevitable remixes that are soon to follow in this episode's wake. And season 4 seems to be very interesting so far in that we have another new writer. And again, an awesome episode. Hmm. Should we just get new writers for all of the episodes or now or something? Pinkie Pie was very enjoyable in this one and seemed to actually have a lot more going on in her head this time this season than she has in the previous few episodes. Again, starting to sound like a broken record here, this episode is a veritable barrel of chuckles and laughs throughout, from the moments before the road trip even starts with a subtle bickering and Pinky just smiling away, to the scariest cave in Equestria and Pinky just humming and smiling whilst every pony else was clutched in terror, to when they arrived at Golden Deliciouses, and all the bits in between. This episode is being added to my list of, if I or someone else needs to pick me up, watch this episodes. Now, there's a reason I do my thoughts videos a few days after the episode airs rather than on Sunday or even straight after the episode airs. Because of work mostly, but also because of stuff like this. You gotta love EQD for spotting this, because I completely missed it myself and it was probably just a frame or two somewhere in the episode, but it was there. So not only do we have canon crazy cat ponies, but also a possible slender pony. Of course, that could have just been an animator goofing around since it is a case of it's there for a brief second and seeing how the fandom would react to it. If so, yeah, that actually sounds quite logical. It's just an animator goofing around or something, seeing how seeing they could pull it off. All in all, I enjoyed this episode and look forward to seeing how the rest of season four pans out. Hopefully, other writers will get the hint that you don't need to drag the entire cast around in order to make a good episode. There is one thing, actually, I'd like to comment about, though, for this episode. Was it just me, or did Pinky seem a little too happy to be part of the Apple family? Even for her. It makes one wonder what her own family are like if she is so eager to be part of another one. Jaffa Archind, signing out. Oh, before I go, actually. Golden Delicious, Big Mac, same voice actor. See ya.